matter what Allah gives you, you must always respect everyone that you come across. Why do I say this? Today you might greet me because, hey, Mufti Meng came here. So you're respecting me. Why? Because you're saying, hey, there's a famous guy uh, who, who walked in. I, whether I'm famous or not is, is not really important. I'm, just, I'm exactly like you. I'm the same. I also went through a school system like yours. I, I went through a teaching phase, different phases. We went, and that's what happened. A lot of you might achieve more than I have in the near future. But I tell you what really makes you when you can respect everybody that you come across on earth and ask yourself, how can I help this person? Even if just by them watching you, they can be helped. It's a big thing. The reason is today, someone's got a very nice car. We'll all greet that person. They're rich. They're rich. We become friends with them because they're rich. Someone is so handsome, so good looking. We want to be close to them. Why? Because, hey, this person's really good looking. Someone is very intelligent, really first in class all the time. We all want to say, hey, you know what? Wow, this person, we smile at them. We want to be happy. Why? Because they're very clever. When they have something Allah gave them, we, human nature is we try to respect what Allah gave them. And if they didn't have it, sometimes we don't respect them. You have a, a person who's studying with you from a home that might not be wealthy. From a home that might have a problem. A person who might not you know, be the most gorgeous of everyone, although all of us are actually good looking. It's just that sometimes you don't realize that. And so no one wants to talk to that person. No one wants to treat them well. I tell you, when you treat people well because of Allah, that's when you have liberated yourself. I want to talk to you and respect you and love you and care for you, not because I think you have something that I need or want or that I'm wowed by, but rather I do that because you are a creature of the same Allah who made me. I'm going to respect you for Allah to bring me here today is not a coincidence. For a lot of you, oh, we went to school by chance. We had Mufti Meng that came in. For Allah, it was not a chance. For you and I, it was. So you need to make sure you respect everyone, including the workers and the cleaners and those who don't have such a nice car, those who might have tatty clothing, those who don't have perhaps the means to, you know, to, to wear perfume that smells so good. You need to respect them, be kind to them, smile at their faces, make life easy for them, make them feel worthwhile for the sake of Allah. Why? Because Allah made me. Allah made them, Allah made me cross paths with them in this life. And he's going to ask me, I allowed you to bump into this person. How did you seize the opportunity to get closer to me? That's Allah. So when I respect you, I had a few boys. When I was outside there, I came quite early. I parked my car outside. And I know I could have come in, but I didn't want to. I don't want to create a big scene. But a few boys saw me and they came to greet me. I was so happy. And I, I looked at them, I greeted each one of them, mashallah. And then I greeted the last boy and I held his hand. And I told him, what did I tell him? I told him, I said, how many members of staff do you have here? He said, I'm not too sure. And in my mind, I said, I'm asking the wrong guy. Because he's not a member of staff. How would he know? I thought, I'm going to this beautiful place, a school I've heard about so much, Qurtuba. Let me take a gift for at least the people who teach here. So I brought a little gift for everyone who teaches here. And I said to myself, I just give it to them, inshallah. Perhaps they might, if they don't want it, they can give it to somebody else. But at least I came with something. Not because I had to, but I felt it's an opportunity, it's a chance. And inshallah, one day, who knows, I might come with something for everyone here. May Allah bless you guys. Say Amin. Amen. So inshallah, those are the two messages I have. I thought I'd speak for 15 minutes. I've spoken for 15 minutes and 24 seconds. So inshallah, I will end at that note just by repeating the two things I said. Number one, what was the first point I said? 
Be responsible when it comes to the way you carry yourself, especially online, because the future is happening online, right? Technology is progressing in leaps and bounds. Please be responsible. Don't do silly things. Sometimes one mistake you made when you were at school and growing up, it might shape your future. I know last week there was someone at a different school who did something that was quite bad. That child and all the child's friends were expelled from the school. And you know what? They have to write matric next year and it's going to affect them. And then the one parent tells me, can you please come and speak to my child and so on? And I'm, what should I say? I mean, you should have thought about what you did before you did it, that this is going to shape my future to a degree. So don't do that, which is irresponsible. That was point number one. What was point number two? You respect everyone for the sake of? Allah, I am treating you kindly, not because I think you deserve my kindness, but I'm treating you kindly because I know Allah loves those who are kind. I'm good to you because Allah loves those who are good. Wallahu yuhibbul muhsinin. So I, if that's the case, I'm going to treat everyone the same. No one is preferred over another. May Allah help us to help one another. I know in school sometimes you have little gangs, you have little cliques, you have a group of boys or a group of girls a lot of the times, and then you sideline one pierced person, you make them feel bad, you make them feel unpleasant. Allah's watching. It's going to happen to you at some point or your kids maybe one day. You'd rather just say, listen, sorry, we're being so silly. We're only going to be at the school for a few more years. Let's at least get along with each other and respect each other for the sake of Allah. May Allah bless you all. I took two more minutes. Aqulu qawli hadha. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.